What is up guys? I am currently in Thailand. Um, excuse the background noise. It is super toasty and audio too. But um, in this video, I actually want to talk about um, Instagram marketing tips for 2018 kind of going in. You know, it's already March, right? But there, there are certain algorithm changes that occur pretty often with Instagram that you guys should be, you know, made aware of, especially for you e-commerce guys that are trying to um, use Instagram as like a funnel basically to, you know, get traffic to your site and get purchases, get conversions, stuff like that. Um, the biggest thing guys is, is, is the algorithm, right? Instagram changes their stuff very, very frequently. They're super, super against, you know, automation for the most part. There are obviously are a lot of workarounds. Um, one thing that guys is the follow unfollow stuff for growing your stuff like that's, that doesn't build engagement, doesn't build true engagement. It'll build you a fake number um, that can easily be stimulated either way guys. So that's not a big, you know, kind of tactic to use. A lot of people, you know, they follow unfollow, they try and, you know, follow account or follow like people basically that follow other, you know, interest accounts, stuff like that. Cause then like, oh, you know, they follow this account to be interested in my stuff, which is you know, potentially a good thing, but you don't want to be that small page that just follows all these random people. Cause again, you're a brand, right? You got to be positioning yourself you know, really, really, really like up there in terms of like where you stand basically like authoritatively. And if you're that brand that just follows a bunch of these random people, right, that that leaves your brand like diminished. It takes power away from your brand. Um, what I mean by that is like think of uh, think of any sort of brand like Nike, Adidas, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, those things. If they just started following random people all the time on Instagram, that it, it wouldn't like I mean, obviously now that they're up there, um, it's kind of a different story. But again, guys, it's, especially if you're just starting out, you don't want to be following you know, random accounts all the time, right? Because like, again, a lot of these good accounts that do their marketing and their branding really, really well, they maybe only follow 10 people, right? And those 10 people are like really, really big influencers, the people they help market with, like all that kind of stuff, um, which is which is something to kind of kind of be aware of, right? Um, and second thing, guys, is hashtags. A lot of you guys will try and get reach or get exposure for your posts stuff by using a lot of hashtags. You'll like post in the second like comment, right? Like 30 hashtags or whatever, right? To try and get on all those different pages. And if you guys aren't familiar with that, there's a thing called a shadow ban. If Instagram sees you're doing this multiple times with most, most of your posts, they're basically gonna make sure that all your posts for like when you do that second hashtag thing, they don't show up on those hashtags, okay? So basically you're doing that, it, it's, it's not helping you, right? And most of the time guys, you get hit with that right away, especially if you're a new account, a fresh account, not a large account, um, and if you do a lot of hashtags back to back. So a good way to kind of go around that guys is to kind of intersperse hashtags in your main caption, right? So um, say, say you're posting about a summer like pair, pair, pair of shades or something, right? Um, and then you say, uh, you know, this is a great hashtag summer, sh whatever you're doing, right? But you just want to incorporate hashtags into your caption post. Um, that's probably the most relevant way to go about it so you don't actually get hit with a shadow ban, which again, again um, can, can make things um, not basically work for, for, for getting exposure out there, okay guys? Um, and on top of it off, it's basically content. Content is so, so, so important, guys. There's literally, um, I don't think anything is more important than content, even marketing, website, all that kind of stuff. It, it, it all comes back to content because that, that's how people see your brand, right? If they see your brand as a $5 brand, you're a $5 brand. If they see your brand as a $20 brand, they're a $20 brand. If they see your brand as a $5,000 brand, you're a $5,000 brand. And it allows you to charge more, guys. Um, and again, content is dispersed through your website, through your social media outlets, through your, you know, your paid marketing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's why you want to take it so seriously, guys, because a lot of people don't take that seriously. They put a lot of time into like figuring out their audience, figuring out you know who they want to market towards, their website, all that kind of stuff. But then they use the pictures that they get from AliExpress or their suppliers or wherever you're doing it, or even online random photos, stuff like that. Um, which again, it can work. You will get sales. But I'm saying you can get many, many more sales by like, taking the extra effort, ordering the product yourselves, taking your own content, or getting other influencers to take content by shipping the product to them, um, and stuff like that, guys. Because again, content is so important for Instagram and just everything. Because it's a visual, it's a visual app, guys. What that means is that you need visual content. You need stimulating content for like, it's, it's psychology, guys. You need something like visually stimulating to get their attention so that they actually spend time looking at your caption to see what your actual product is and then you get their interest through that and they go to your site and eventually purchase, right? There's a flow to it, guys. And just having one of these little like, like basically like cycles in, in, in this flow, right, being messed up can throw off everything. And that's, that's I think what a lot of people don't realize is that hey, you need to be able to lock down every single aspect of this guys. And then on the Instagram side of things, like this whole video is about hey, what can I do to better like, you know, market on Instagram guys, giveaways. Giveaways are really, really good for like growing your following organically, getting potential purchases as well, and then just getting exposure, okay? Because people love free stuff in general, but again, that's why the, the, the free product for shipping method works so well, even though it's kind of like overused, it's because people love free stuff. So if you do giveaways, even if you just launch, right, you do a launch giveaway and you like throw an, an ad on all these different influencers and stuff like that, guys, 
having that go up there and then getting, hey, you know, tag two friends, right? And then we're giving away $100 in-store credit. Basically, you're giving away $100, right? It's not, to you, it's not gonna cost you $100, but you're giving away what seems to be $100 to, you know, one or three people, you know, whoever like tags their friend. Maybe you wanna give away all of it to them, right? To get more people to tag their friend, okay? And then you make sure they have to follow your page, all that kind of stuff. So again, you're driving that traffic to your page so that your content can kind of lock them in, get them curious, and then they go to your website, hopefully they purchase, right? But again, the key of it is like, hey, you're building an audience that organically that you can later use to remarket retarget that doesn't cost you anything okay it costs you initially to get that stuff up but then when you're posting good content continuously they're gonna keep seeing that as long as they follow you right and as long as you post good content they're not gonna unfollow you um, unless you, you know start spamming or start posting crap right and that's not what you want to do because content is king guys you need to have good content for your source so that's that's what I'm preaching okay and that's basically the three most important things at least in terms of Instagram and actually growing you know growing your Instagram how to actually market on Instagram guys um, most of it is just kind of building that audience or building some sort of interest so that you can actually eventually scale with paid ads like even Instagram sponsored posts stuff like that it's just dumping money into that um, but you know growing organically that's that's like that's the key to it basically like if you can grow organically guys if you can get an organic following fan base around your brand around you know what you stand for all that kind of stuff then you're much much more set all right then then you can actually close a lot more deals you can get a lot more organic traffic your seo is better like it, it plays off so so much better in the long run because um, that's why i started the drop shipping and people look at it as like a, a quick short-term thing um but if you actually build out a brand from drop shipping guys your return is ridiculous and that's how i've made so much money and that's how i want you guys to make a lot of your money is like kind of building out a unique brand focusing on content and then go like blowing things up through the marketing avenue but then you're blowing it up like what already looks and appears to be a legit brand like a quality brand okay guys so that's the video i know it was super quick guys um i just touched down in thailand everyone's actually in there working um crazy right we're on vacation we're all we're all working right now but um that's it i might do a little like tour or something um of, of the villa we have a soccer field behind the pool here which is cool too but that's the video guys leave a like drop a comment i respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe guys we're doing basically a video a day um, on just you know business lifestyle whatever it is in general um with you know with with a focus on e-commerce so that's that guys um you know subscribe down below i will see you guys in the next video guys check the links for the description guys you know follow my facebook page um the groups are free too like, there's like nine thousand plus in the x-commerce facebook group guys and um just take a look down below, right? I'm sure you'll find something that, that you enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys, and peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course, the free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all day. I can do this all night. Don't, 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 don't give me too be easy. I like a little challenge When it feels better when you take a little damage Slow learning fast, earning stay, burning wheels, turning it's so on, going on, going thing. Don't give it